Okay, so now that we have our power, our 48 volts ran to each one of our stepper drivers, now I want to run the three wires that are going to go out to our motor, uh, the U, V, and W. Now these three wires are going to go out to our aviation plugs, and then from our aviation plugs, they're going to go out to the motor. So what I did was, I've made me three pigtails here that I'm going to screw into the back of the panel and then we're going to wire up to each one of our stepper drivers. Now it took a minute to show exactly how these are connected so let's take a look at that video. So what I'm doing here is wiring up my aviation plugs for my stepper motors. Now these are three wire stepper motors, three phase stepper motors you may be using the four wire bipolar motors and if so you'll have four pins. Uh, this is four conductor wire and I have the white wire just pulled back and I heat sh used heat shrink on the ends just to keep everything nice and tidy. Save the white wire. Uh, you'll use it on yours and I'm saving mine just in case I have a bad wire later on down the road. Uh, here is the plug you can see the indicating this is the front side for the indication for the pin here and so this actual wire pin over here will be wire 3 and if you flip it over uh, you can see that this is 3 so your wire colors may be different mine are black green and red so the first wire we're going to connect is our green wire and if you're not used to soldering I would suggest you practice just just a little bit because you don't want to get the pin too hot because we're working with a plastic insert here and the trick that I found is that you want to get your iron touching the co uh, copper and the pin and you want to touch your solder to the iron and draw it towards the copper and then just hit the copper like so. Doesn't take long. So we've got our green wire connected to pin 3. And then our black wire is going to be connected to pin 1. These little contraptions really do help when it comes to soldering these. Now again, what you want to do is try not to heat up the pin too hot so that you don't melt the uh, plastic here, but you want to get it on the copper and the pin, touch the solder to the iron to get it flowing, and then draw it over to the copper. like so and then our next pin the one here in the middle is our red wire and that is pin 2 probably easier to do pin 2 before you do the black wire however Again, get it on the iron just to get it flowing. Bring it over to the copper to get it into the copper. And then fill it in. Get you a shot of that, see if I can get a, what it looks like. Wide heat shrink. A 
little bit wider heat shrink. I think this is like half inch heat shrink here. Slide it over the end. Kind of slide it over each one of these terminals as best I can. Like that so it's nice and neat. And then heat shrink this. So that's about it. And then we'll connect this other end to our motor. So let me do the other two and then uh, we'll get them wired in. All right, one thing I want to point out again, I'm using three phase stepper motors and three phase stepper motor drivers. If you are using the standard four wire bipolar motors, then you will have four wires connected to your stepper drivers instead of the three wires. Uh, if you need to know exactly how those are wired up, you can refer to my G0602 project. Uh, I was using bipolar motors on that particular project. So now that our pigtails are already made up, we can just go ahead and put them in. I've already installed my X because it's at the very bottom. And so we just need to bring it up and wire it to our stepper driver. So here is my wire here. So I will take green, stick it in this first First here, tighten that up, and then next is W, and then next is V, V is our black wire, pin 1, now again I tin the ends of these, because this is stranded wire, And you can see that that makes for a nice, neat little uh, wiring setup there. Instead of having three different wires, uh, keeping them in the bundle uh, makes for a nice, just a nice little harness. Uh, this is just the same wire that I was, I'm going to run out to the motors. Next we have our Y. hand tighten it for now and let it move around a little bit bring this in and again uh, our first wire is green which is a U and then a V which is our black wire And then next is our red wire, which is W. Okay. Let me show you. That makes for a nice clean connection. And then I'll button that up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the last one, which is our Z. And it will get wired up just exactly the same. So let me take care of that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, well, we've wired up our aviation plugs. And we've also wired them up to our each one of our stepper drivers. That is power going out to our aviation plugs. Our X at the bottom, Y, and Z. You can see it makes for a nice, neat, and tidy installation. Just run them in between and out to there. So that wraps up this video. In our next video, 
we're going to start uh, running our 5 volts and 12 volts up to our C11GS board. So stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.